In some of the most secure labs in the country, scientists are already preparing for the next pandemic. It's just called disease X for now because nobody knows for sure which virus will cause it. But at its port and down complex, the UK Health Security Agency is scanning the horizon for threats and starting work on vaccines just in case. What we're seeing is a rising risk globally. Now, some of that is because of things like urbanisation, where you may get uh, species jumping, so virus jumping from, as we've seen with uh, bird flu, uh, into humans. Some of it is because of climate change. So this is a growing risk agenda, um, it, but then it's one that we can use our science actively to uh, prevent human impact. It took a little under a year to develop the COVID jab. The target for a vaccine in the next pandemic is just 100 days. Bird flu, monkeypox and other animal viruses capable of infecting humans are being closely monitored. One early success is a potential vaccine against Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. It's spread by ticks with a fatality rate of around 30%. It's found in Europe and it's moving north with climate change. That's why they're trying to get ahead and clinical trials are already underway. We've got another dead bird. Not quite sure what that is. But it is bird flu that currently tops the list of threats. Tens of thousands of seabirds have died this summer. There have been four human cases in the UK too. All worked in close contact with birds and all are well. But the National Trust, which looks after long stretches of the coast, is urging people to be cautious. I think uh, people are aware of bird flu and they're aware that there's dead birds that are being washed up. Uh, you know, we're asking people not to go anywhere near the birds and especially if they've got dogs, to keep the dogs on leads as well. The bird flu virus has mutated and spread between some mammals, but the UK Health Security Agency says the risk to humans is still thought to be low. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Pembrokeshire.